We now bring you Dr. Tony Tan King Yam. My fellow Singaporeans, my name is Tony Tan King Yam. I have been given a chance to speak with you today as one of the candidates in the coming presidential election. Please let me tell you about myself and share my hopes for our nation. I was born in 1940 when Singapore was a British colony. We experienced a traumatic Japanese occupation a year later. My wife is Mary. We met at university and were married in 1964. But we couldn't hold our wedding dinner because of curfews imposed after the deadly race rise that year. Our first child was born a year later in 1965, just two weeks before Singapore became independent. It has been 46 years since. We live in such a different Singapore today. We are one of the few countries in the world that has built substantial financial reserves, not through natural resources, but through our dreams and hard work. Singapore has earned a global reputation for industry and integrity. Mary and I celebrated our 47th wedding anniversary this month with our four children, their spouses and five grandchildren. We are proud to share Singapore's 46th birthday. Singaporeans have achieved a lot as a nation and as individuals, but I believe that Singapore's best days are still ahead of us. We will be electing a present for Singapore on August 27, the first time in 18 years. In recent weeks, there has been much talk about what a president can and cannot do. Some people argue that the president must take a public stand on current issues. I hear and share the concerns of Singaporeans. But policies are debated in parliament and implemented by the government. Others have said that the president must oppose the government. That is a job for the opposition. People interested in such roles should run for parliament in the next general election. Today we must focus on the true responsibilities of Singapore's president. Now, more than ever, Europe is in turmoil. America is in crisis. We cannot afford to confuse matters just to score political points. There is simply too much at stake now for political gains, games. I ask you to consider the two most important roles of the president. The first role of the president is to be the head of state. At home, the president stands for all Singaporeans. He has to be independent and above politics. He must be fair, knowledgeable and balanced, especially when called on to resolve disputes between different organs of the state. Abroad, the president is Singapore's face to the world. He has to carry our flag with confidence and dignity. He must have the stature to stand with world leaders and represent our country. The second important role of the president is to protect our nation's financial reserves, which is our country's savings. This responsibility is what makes our presidency special and is why we are having an election. With the present economic uncertainties, it is very likely that the next president will be involved in decisions about Singapore's financial health. These decisions will affect the future of all Singaporeans. Today, I ask you to put your trust in my years of experience. I ask for your vote. I will represent our nation with confidence, dignity and a steady hand to protect our reserves. My life has mirrored the story of Singapore in many ways. I've been privileged to serve you in many capacities over 30 years. I started my career as a mathematics teacher. I was called to public service in 1979 and represented the constituency of Simbawa. I served as a member of parliament for 27 years and as a cabinet member for 23 years. I've led five ministries, education, defense, health, finance, and trade and industry. As a former teacher, I believe strongly in education. I help expand educational opportunities for Singaporeans I created new spaces at ITs, polytechnics and universities. My chief concern as a Minister for Defence was the safety of our families and our homes. 
are ensured that as a nation, we were ready to respond to the ever-changing threats posed by terrorists. I did not always agree with my cabinet colleagues. I fought against the graduate mother scheme. I persuaded my colleagues that it was unfair to put the children of mothers without university degrees at a disadvantage. I got a policy change. I worked with grassroots leaders in my Zimbabwean constituency to stop one of Singapore's oldest mosques from being torn down. After I retired from the government in 2005, I led Singapore's Sovereign Wealth Fund. I successfully pressed for greater transparency so that you know how our nation's savings are invested. Now, I've resigned from jobs that I love to step forward to run for the presidency. My family supports my decision, and I hope I have your support as well. Singapore needs a president with a steady hand, a broad perspective, and a long-term view to sail through rough seas. This is what I can deliver to you with my years of experience with complex financial systems in the public and private sector. Markets across the world are jittery. The United States and Europe are battling to show up fragile economies. Singapore will be affected, but we must not lose heart. Our fundamentals are strong, and I know that our best days are ahead of us. I'm offering myself to you today as a fellow Singaporean who deeply wants a better future for our families. I do not know if I will win, but I know I must try. Because Singapore is our home. Singapore is where I've served for three decades. And Singapore is where my heart is. You will have a choice of candidates on polling day. Over the coming days, ask yourself, which candidate has the experience to carry out the functions of the president? Who can represent Singaporeans at home and abroad with confidence, dignity and stature? Who should watch over our national reserves, ensuring our country's hard-earned savings from the past are used with utmost care in the present so that there is enough for the future? From the bottom of my heart, I ask for your support to serve as your president. I ask you for your help in building a better tomorrow. A tomorrow we can all greet with confidence for the future. My fellow Singaporeans, thank you. The final.